It is an honor for us to have you with us in this interview. And I uh, would like you to let us know uh, the importance for Namibia to be present in this C G77 plus China summit in a world context marked by many concerns and challenges for the Global South. This is a group, the largest bloc right now of the, in terms of the United Nations. Their aim is to maintain peace in the world, to continue having solidarity among the nations, the rich one, the poor one, the developed one, the developing one, but it's a group of developing countries that really care about the lives and conditions of their citizens, to improve the education of our children, the health of our people, the living condition in terms of shelter, to, pro to be able to produce the food for our people, and also to be able to distribute that food fairly to everybody, as well as to develop our economies. We can't have economies, certain economies are producing everything. How would Namibia describe, then, the role of Cuba as chair of the G77 throughout this year? The biggest accomplishment is how they were able to prepare willingly to say, we accept this responsibility this year that the G77 in China will take place in our country and therefore we will do everything possible to accept the leaders from all these countries. How would you describe the contribution by China to this alliance? China has been very uh, smart in saying that although their country is well developed, although they have been able to take a lot of their people out of poverty, although they, were, they are able now to produce a lot of sophisticated things, including satellites to the moons and beyond, they are still a developing country. And I think that is also a lesson from our part. All right, I think it's been a very successful summit in terms of the many representatives of higher level coming to Cuba, expressing their concerns or the concerns of their country as to the role of the G77 in today's world. Do you agree with that? Definitely, it has been more than successful. There was no controversy. There was no panic button. Uh, everybody, as I said already, had a chance to express themselves. They were, all of us were treated, I'm sorry to say, as important people, but because that is what Cuba can do. Thank you for your interview.